Well, how do you feel about your win tonight? You know, I feel really well, really good about my fight. I went out and I executed the game plan. You know, obviously getting the finish, getting the knockout or submission would have been a lot better for me. But, you know what, I went out and put on a dominating performance, stuck to my game plan, and, you know, I can't ask for any more. Watching the fight, it was apparent that his leg was hurt, and it seemed to be apparent to us maybe before it was apparent to you. Did you notice that he was vulnerable there, and were you hesitant at all if you did notice that to actually kick him in the leg? Yeah, I noticed. I noticed it, and I've kicked people in the legs enough to know when it when it hurts, and it sinks in. And he didn't show it for the first like couple, but it was apparent to me that they were landing. So I wasn't gonna start picking on it and have him start checking them. So I just kind of like mix it up, and it was able to land more often. I think by mixing it up. So I didn't really like necessarily go out, and since one and two worked then go out and throw like 20 more on the same leg. I wanted to set it up and switch it. That way it landed more frequently. But did it, it also kind of seemed like you knew that you could do that, but you were looking for a knockout instead. Exactly, exactly. I want to, you know, I want to get that clean knockout because I haven't got one of those yet. So I want one of those where it's like put my opponent to sleep and, and then be on the highlight reel, you know. Were there times where you thought you were close? Like yeah, there there was times where it felt like it was pretty close. I just didn't want to get too crazy because, you know, Eversol is a very crafty guy and I didn't want to get caught with something stupid again. Um, you know, it's like I just need to be just that much more confident in my ability to be able to put somebody away when I know that they're rocked. But yeah, I rocked them quite a few times and I know that I did. Um, I just need to close the distance a little bit sooner. He's a tough guy to put down, though. I mean, to stop. He's very, very difficult to stop. Yeah, for sure. And watching all of his last fights and all the opponents and all the fights that he's had, he's never been stopped before. Um, that wasn't going to stop me from going out and trying to put him away. Um, I wasn't going to respect anything that he was throwing at me. I was just going to go out and execute my game plan the way that we'd planned for two months. And I ended up doing it, and it worked out well for me. How much has training with GSP improved your game? You know, I mean, he's the best in the world, and he's been the best in the world for the last six years. It was, it was absolutely amazing being having him as a Spartan partner. It was hands down the biggest confidence booster, knowing that I have him as a training partner to go out there and put this fight on, you know, and it was very, very good. Well, what was it like when you got the call? Did Faraz call you, or how did that thing go down? Actually, um, Faraz called my coach, Pat White, and then it ended up being a collaboration where it's like our team, Brave Legion, got brought up, and, you know, not only me get to train with people at TriStars, like the guys from my team, Brave Legion, got to come up and train with them, too. So uh, to come up, be able to go up there and uh, have the guys from TriStars sparring partners and be able to peak at the same time as those guys, it was, it was absolutely awesome. How about the conditioning aspects of your game? Because it seemed like in that first round you were swinging away, like you said, looking for that knockout. And a lot of people, you know, social media were saying things like, well, maybe he'll gas himself out and that's what Eversol's waiting on. But you looked like you had complete confidence in your conditioning. What do you credit that to? Um, I credit going out and having confidence in my game plan and having confidence in my ability and being relaxed. You know, it's like I go out in my other fights and my training camps are so hard. I can go five, five minute rounds, but then when I get into the fight, you know, I, I get tired after one round because I put everything into every single punch. But going out and being relaxed, I can throw my punch, they land effectively, and I can do it all day. So going out and being relaxed was my best friend. A lot of people after that pile fight said that you won, you'd won that fight, and maybe you felt that way also. But with this win here, do you finally feel like maybe that's off of your back? Yeah, of course. You know, after a uh, decision get taken away from you, and then coming out and putting on a dominating, dominating performance, it definitely gets that monkey off your back. Um, but I did thought, I think I won that last fight, and I would have been on a three-fight win streak. But you know what? What happens, happens, and the only like person at fault is myself. So um, I just go on from here like with the win and come out next time ready to throw down. You had quite a streak at one point in the UFC and then had a couple of losses, win-loss, win-loss. When you look back, do you see the things that went wrong maybe in the camps leading to a loss, or do you feel that things just didn't go your way on those particular nights? Uh, you know, I, I really think about it as like battling myself. I grew into like the person I am now like over the last probably year, and I can go out and I can, I can 
strongly say that I'm really comfortable in there now. Like before, you know, I'd always I'd go out and be a little nervous and they'd be like real nervous and not confident in my ability, but um, I'm getting more and more confident with my ability and yeah, that, that's all I have to say. It's like I'm getting really confident, so. What does the hero feel like in the clinch? <laughs> in the clinch, you know, I, <laughs> Are you asking about the chest hair itself? Yes. <laughs> what is that movie, Along Came Polly, when the guy jumps up yeah. and like the hair's, you know, it's definitely not something I want to keep my face close to. It's, it's definitely like sandpaper, and it's not only on his chest. It's like like shaves back hair. You know, nothing against Brian. He's just a hairy guy. But um, yeah, in the clinch with uh, Brian, you know, I, I had practiced the clinch work quite a bit, and I wasn't going to play in that game. Did you know much about Brian beforehand? Obviously, he's fought a lot of times. Do, do you respect him? I guess. I mean, do oh, you have? Of course. A, yeah. um, we were in the same corner when he fought. When we fought in Atlantic City, and he's a nice guy, and I have nothing against him. And um, yeah, he he seems like pretty cool. I like the way he like goes out and he carries himself and how comfortable he is in the corner. And you know, he's a tough guy, and that was a really good fight. We talked some. Uh, I think it was in Montreal uh, about. Oh, you, know, you were the guy, you, you'd beat Johnny Hendricks, and then it seemed like those guys were kind of getting opportunities ahead of you. I mean, now that you're on the same card, like you mentioned, the confidence boost of training with GSP. I mean, do you feel like now, uh, what's the emotion like when you see those guys at the top of the card and you're, you're farther down on it? You know, I mean, they did what they needed to do to get there. And, you know, I, I have nothing against it. They're making it happen, and, you know, I kind of slipped. And... Now I'm doing what I need to do to make it happen again. So, you know, hopefully next time I'll be higher up on the card and get a little bit more attention. What do you think you have to do to, to get where they are? Win. <laughs> Win impressively. Yeah. That's about it. You said your entire Brave Legion team got to go train at TriStar. Did you pick up anything from that gym? Obviously, it's a very successful gym that you guys are going to then take home and, and, and put into practice. You know, I mean, that's not my call because I leave all my training into my coach's hands. And... You know, I'm sure it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen, and I'm sure it's not the last time we're going to go up there and train. Um, but I'm sure there's definitely techniques and, you know, practices that are going to be incorporated into future training camps. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Rick.